Hey there all craft beer lovers, very much welcome to another beer review. Well, hopefully we have a treat on the table tonight. We have a uh, special collaboration beer between four hot Swedish breweries. We are going to Hylia Bryggeri and they have teamed up with Ten Hands Brewing Company and they have teamed up with Svartbergets Fjellbryggeri all of Åre and of course, last but not least, they have teamed up with Stigbergets Bryggeri. We are taking a look at their You Be Me and I Be You. It's a double IPA clocking in at 8% ABV in a 440ml can. There you go, 8%er, double IPA. Look at that crazy cool looking artwork. There you go, guys, gonna give it a quick spin around. Lovely, and a lovely wordplay as well in the end. In the name of the beer. So with that said, guys, let's get that can cracked open, see what we get. There we go. A little bit of smoke. Okay. So we got some four really, really top breweries here. Uh, the beer is brewed uh, in Malmö uh, at Hylia Bryggeri. But as I said, they have uh, joined forces together with... Uh, Svartbergets Fjellbryggeri and of course with Stigbergets Bryggeri and Ten Hands Brewing Company. Right, will you look at that? Okay, fingers worth of a nice bright white shining head, couple of uh, big bubbles on top. Yeah, there you go, so it's a little bit darker honey golden color I would say, touch of haste to it. Good deal of carbonation, lovely presentation, nice aroma, I can smell it already, but let's go for a little bit of a uh, closer inspection. Oh yeah, lovely tropical aroma to it. Oh, certainly kind of a floral note as well, lurking about super, super heavy on the hop. Oh, it smells lovely. Oh yeah, so with that said guys, can't wait. Just have to dive in and see what this one brings to the table. Cheers everybody. Oh, mm. oh yeah, another hot bomb. Oh yeah. You get definitely big floral hop notes here, mixed with uh, definitely with a uh, kind of a sweet hoppy kind of sponge cake sensation there that I used to get on these double IPAs, crammed full of hops. Get a little bit of a bitter aftertaste to it, you know, a little bit down the throat there. You can get that bitter. Mm. Bitter sensation, a little bit dry at the back end as well. Uh, lovely, absolutely lovely again. Mm. Mm. Very floral, lots and lots of hops. Floral hops, big time. Definitely a sweet element to it with that kind of sponge cake vibe. Little bit of an inkling towards being a kind of a West Coast style, but not not a kind not a clean West Coast style, but definitely got some West Coast style elements to it. Bitter bite at the back end, lingering bitterness uh, on the tongue, in the cheeks, and down the throat. Uh, definitely a big beer. Definitely a uh, hop bomb for sure. Very very interesting, guys. So yeah, as I said. Collaboration there between uh, four big Swedish breweries, uh, you be me and I be you. Eight percenter, uh, big double IPA, lovely beer, lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, I can, I can still feel that bitter, that bitterness linger there. Good deal of carbonation, very well made, big 
hop bomb for sure if that's your thing you will you're gonna love this so yeah it's very interesting with all these uh, collaboration a uh, hylia briggery where the beer has been brewed at i mean these guys are absolutely top notch nowadays they're kind of one of the fastest growing craft beer breweries in sweden right now stay baguettes of course just a world-class brewery uh, Ten Hans Brewing Company. I've had a couple of beers from these guys, and I had a uh, I had a stout from these guys that was absolutely fantastic. Don't remember the name of it, uh, unfortunately. But I had a review it. You can check it out. And of course, Svartbäs Fjellbrygge. They also have done a lot of good beers. I remember especially one of their uh, bourbon barrel aged imperial stouts as well, which was absolutely spot on absolutely world class for me guys this is a solid beer four out of five uh, pick it up if you can find it thank you for watching